Ho ho boardies, welcome to Borderline Games. I am Gareth and this is Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, Episode 2. Uh, last time our protagonist, Kaede Yakamutsu, uh, woke up in the uh, woke up in a locker within a derelict high school. Uh, in the locker next to her was uh, Suichi Sahira. Uh, I just had to look up his name. Uh, both of them having forgotten all previous events, so like they couldn't remember anything at all. Um, exploring the school, we found that it was overrun by terrifying robots, avoiding them. Uh, we got to a room with a bunch of other students. Uh, there, we confronted. Um, we were confronted by um, five similar-looking Monokuma dolls, but with like their own distinct personality, um, called the Monocubs. Uh, yeah, each of them has their own quirk. Uh, when they realized that we have no memory of our ultimate talent, they hastily redress us in our proper school attire and reset us. Uh, and then, after that, we simply woke up again in the same locker. Um, Everything being the same, apart from we knew that we were the ultimate pianist, and Suichi knew that he was the ultimate detective. I think I got the uh, short end of the stick there. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, okay. So, last thing we did, we looked at this uh, ultimate pianist lab, but it's locked for now. Uh, what else we got here? Nothing else here. Oh, what's this? Classroom C. Is that where we just came from? That's another locker room. It won't open. Let's look somewhere else. You're right. Okay. Uh, I hope my piano skills actually comes in handy. Hello. Let's look at this bronze dragon statue first. What is this? It looks like a dragon statue. Why is there a dragon statue in the school's hallway? No. I, I have no idea. Hmm. Maybe it's part of the school's official art collection or something. Still, no idea. Okay, and we're going to speak to this person. Who is this? Um. Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Um. Uh, did she not hear me? Okay, then. Hey! Hello! Well, she still can't hear me. Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No, no, I don't think that's the case. You never know. We already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. And felt her skin squish beneath my fingertips. <laughs> Poking her doesn't work either. Maybe she is just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, Suichi. Poke, poke. Uh, no thanks. Just do it. It's It's so fun. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Ah. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew that. If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Because she wasn't responding. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. You were ignoring us. Isn't that a bit rude? Um, well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Right. Now, let's talk. What do you want to start with? Right. My favourite Doraemon episode is number 53, the one with security cameras and target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? The ultimate cosplayer. Have we not had a cosplayer yet? That seems like something that's obvious. Low hanging fruit. Ah, so you're a cosplayer. Are you surprised? I get that a lot, since I'm so plain. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I bet it's because you've got people ogling at all your curves on a daily basis. Huh. Ah. Um. Kaidi, you sound like a, like a creepy old man. <gasps> Normally, I don't really f like people looking at me like that. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give them to people like that. Wow, you're pretty intense. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. Oh. Well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. 
It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know. Uh, is it alright if I ask you something too? Earlier, you looked as if uh, you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Oh yeah, we need to ask her that. Nice job, Suichi. Ah, that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just plain curious about it. Um, oh, mouse goes over there. It almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you're right, it sort of bothers me too. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um. Heidi, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that frightened look on her face was sort of scary, uh, sexy. Oh, this again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. You're pretty optimistic, Coyote. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Worrying about... Uh, worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better to just be carefree. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. yeah, so let's try to find a way out. Obtain Friendship Fragment. Tsumugi's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Okay, when is the killing game going to be revealed? Uh, this way, I guess. Maybe when I uh, introduce myself to everybody. Hallway first floor, so that, does that mean we're on the second floor before? I guess so. Uh, which way should we go? This way. Oh, hang on, can I go in here? Boys' bathroom? Not allowed in there. This is the boys' bathroom, right? I can't go in there, not even in this situation. Um, um. If you want, I could go look. Huh? Well, I'm not that curious about what's in there. Remember. Well, this is an unusual building. Anything could be in there. Wait here a minute. It's a bathroom. With that, Suichi opened the door and walked inside. It was just a normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. I see. Uh, I see. That scared me. Maybe detectives like uh, live for these kind of scary situations. Uh, all right. Um, nothing here. All right, let's go this way. Okay. Oh, level three. Is that another? Oh, it's a classroom. There gonna be many people in here. Oh, yeah, three. You look a bit like Nagato. Hey, hey wait for me! Please stop. Please stop. Don't come any closer. That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Okay. Oh, I see. That is uh, our... Suichi. <laughs> Come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What, a robot? What is, it? what is it? Are you another robophobe? I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. Are you one of the monocubs? Do not compare me to those toys. I am just an any old robot. I am K1B0. K1B0. The ultimate robot. Ebo. K1BO. Weird. Ultimate robot. Were you just a normal person before? That's not fair. You can't be the one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Oh, um, go ahead. Kokichi Oma. A robot and supreme leader. Neither of them make any sense. 
By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not funny. Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. <laughs> don't mock me. I've studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student, just like you. You're a high school student. I was created by Professor Ida... what? Idabashi. Um, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed me a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. I was but a baby. Uh, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in high school. And now I see, stand here before you all. See, I'm just like everybody else. Hey. Jotting down. <laughs> hey, do robots have dicks? What a crass question. Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid about a robot. Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your uh, ultimate supreme leader talent. Oh, I'm just a supreme leader of an secret, uh, evil secret organization. That's all. Huh? What? Um... I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Okay, well, I've got the vibe for this guy already. Seriously, the supreme leader of an evil organization. Because I'm a liar. Oh, I see. The ultimate liar? <laughs> Who knows? I am a liar, after all. Okay. I, I guess I don't have uh, the vibe of this guy. That's you were lying just now. It's true. Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil or secret organization. That part was true. So, were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Ah, by the way, what is the name of that organization? It's a secret, you know. Because it's a secret or organization. But I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Hey, everything he said so far sounded like a lie. So that's got to be a lie too, right? Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. Well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. <clears throat> oh, you mad? You gonna hit me with a robot punch? Rocket punch? I don't have that function. Oh man, you're boring. What a weird boy, he's like a mischievous little kid. There's no time to be joking around unless... He really is an evil supreme leader. Obtain friendship fragment. Kokichi? And K1, but what did he say to Kibo? Was that what he said? Um, report cards have been updated based on your experience with them. Uh, okay, so can I leave here then? Oh. This blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Oh, okay. Kibo. I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student, just like you. From one high school student to another, I hope we can get all, uh, all along. All get along. Alright. I guess we're done with these guys. Just check. Uh, it's not bad. Who creates a robot without rocket punch? Why do you even exist? Alright. I guess we're done. Would you like to leave? I'm on a clue hunt. Um, okay, so... Just been in there. Let's go down here. Stairs hit. Go down to the basement. What should we do, Suchi? You wanna head down? I don't know, the basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. Right. Let's proceed with caution, with you at the front. Ah, so I'm in front, I, I see. With hesitant... With hesitation. Suichi leading the way. Oh, it's hesitant Suichi leading the way. We carefully made our way down the stairs. Um. 
doesn't look very dangerous to me. Ah, well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. Sweetie, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No. I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. Yeah, maybe, but we should look around the basement too. Right? Might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. All right. So where have we just come from? Up there. Door. Library. Okay, cool. Level four. Already. What's that say? On. Well, the last thing that we actually did see was evidence of maybe a Matrix thing going on. We saw our character kind of flinch and go, Ugh, and then it kind of cut to her with, um, like, a helmet. Um, like she was being put in a VR situation. Similar to um, Goodbye Despair's kind of reveal. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty spell, uh, smell of old books. Hmm. Is this a library? You're right. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Suichi? No. No, it's just, I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Huh, someone. No. Ah, oh, it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Who are you? Hey. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm, I'm Shuchi Saihara. And I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Please. Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate uh, detective, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. Um, and what about you? Maki Harakara. Maki Harakara. Ultimate child caregiver. <laughs> okay, cool. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? Surprised. I don't look like someone who'd have kids, do I? Who'd like kids? Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um, but if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. But they say kids are very intuitive if they like you that much. Hey. Then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Mackie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. Wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? Huh, what do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. It's just I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Um. Ah, by the way... Do you know anything about monocubs? About the monocubs? Yeah, right. yeah, someone's got to be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. How would I know? Hmm. Well, fair point. Hmm, the monocubs are definitely involved in our situation. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um. Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Seriously, you think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would make, uh, let us just walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together with strangers. You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Obtain friendship fragment. Oh, isn't that nice? Mackie's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Oop. Our conversation finished. She quickly headed out of the library. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate ca uh, child caregiver. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. Alright, what have we got to interact with here? Rear sliding door. Moving ladder. Check out this ladder. This looks like a ladder for reaching books on the higher shelves. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Globe. What a beautiful globe. Cool. Front bookcase. 
There are lots of books crammed in here, and they're all in different languages, too. How is anyone supposed to have a book off the shelf when they're crammed in like this? Uh, front bookcase. Middle bookcase. Books written in various languages line this shelf. Some of these letters make no sense. What languages are they supposed to be? I don't think I'm gaining any XP from this. I might just bail. Bail. So we went to the library. Uh, hang on. That's the library. Okay. So, this way. Nothing here. Oh! Game room! Now we're talking. Whoa. Alright. Hello. Looks like a game room. Well, this is a school, right? If it's Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? It certainly is strange. Hello? Sheesh, what a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um, we're really trapped in here. This must be some... Must be some... Uh, it must be an exit, right? I'll get my words straight eventually. Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Uh, okay. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here compared to prison anyway. Huh? Prison? What, but you're an ultimate student, aren't you? <laughs> Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. All right. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. <laughs> the ultimate tennis pro who went to prison. Ryoma Hoshi, really, I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? You uh, took down a mafia by yourself with your tennis skills. The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills in an iron ball. <laughs> what the hell, really? Hmm, so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talents to kill? Um, but, but, but why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Hmm, because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? huh? No. no, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. Anyway, I'm warning you, it's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Obtain Friendship Fragment. Ryoma's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Sliding door? Locked. Oh, there was a sliding door in the other one, wasn't there? I'm guessing that was locked as well. Looks like it's locked. Yeah. wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. All right, let's go. Who else can we look at? Um, some weird room. Is that locked? Huh? Um, what's wrong? Um, this do door barely opens a crap. A uh, crap. A crack. Was it poorly built? I see. Well, nothing we can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. Weird, okay. That's the library. Right, okay. Oh, so that is going to be the uh, sliding door to the other place. Okay, cool. We got it. We go back upstairs, I guess. Let's have a look at how many we've got so far. Not that. How do we do it again? Is it this? No. Is it this? Yes. Okay, so... Review the layout of the academy. This will help you. With... So we've got... One, two, three. We already had him. Four. Five, six. Okay. Um, does that look like a room we've not been in before? Or is that just literally what? Okay, I think we can go this way. I think I went in that room before. Let's go this way. Oh, hello. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright. That's good. Situation could be better though. 
Yeah, totally. Well, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? If you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? Ah, oh, you're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh, everyone? I asked the others too, they all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. It's like we all have amnesia or something. Uh, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia... Well, but I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. What? That's not true. Wait, amnes amnesia is a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. Or it could be a group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. In any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up uh, the outcast. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Is it another serial killer? What? Ooh, I'm in trouble. I know I must have, uh, have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but then I forgot. I did, right? No, no you haven't told me your name yet. My name is oh, he did tell us his name before. My name is Rantaro Amami. Amami. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. Antaru, Antaro? For someone who can't remember his talents, he doesn't seem to too shaken up about it. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along if we were uh, if we aren't going anywhere for a while. Mm. Stop that! We'll escape soon. Really think it's going to be that easy? Huh, what do you mean? Nothing, just a feeling. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, all right? I thought that uh, he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I've no idea what's going on through his head right now. Obtain friendship fragment. Rantaro's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Uh, level 6. Uh, okay, so... There's a little... School store. Click, click. I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere else. You're right. Okay. Oh! 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 What? I can do this. That's wrong. Okay, that doesn't do anything, though. <laughs> All right, that's an interesting mechanic. I've not seen that. Dining hall or warehouse dining hall. I bet there'd be more people there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Two. Is this a dining hall? Dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. What's that? Rules. Feel free to eat. Anything you like. This looks like the rules for the dining hall. Dining hall rules. You may eat any food you find in the dining hall. Please take responsibility for all utensils and dishes used and clean up after yourself. The dining hall will be locked during night time. Night time? So it's closed at night. Uh, Some more barbed wire. This door is blocked by barbed wire. The same goes for the classroom window. Don't tell me the exits are blocked. Hello, witch. Yeah, so why are we stuck here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. But don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. No. I'm not scared. It's just a bit of a pain. Something like this won't make me panic because I'm a mage. Huh? <laughs> a mage? Oh, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate mage. 
you know, passionate about it too. There we go. Oh, so you're a magician. We should have, uh, you should have said that from the start. I mean, it takes, uh, it makes sense since magic doesn't exist. No, oh, she didn't like that. Nah, magic does exist because oh, I'm a mage. You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. Or I'm actually a mage. Huh? Uh, just a ruse. Mm -hmm. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. I, I was the youngest person to ever win the Magician of the Year award. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's all a ruse. They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. There, there, don't be sad. Well, you could show us your magic. Then we will believe you. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to when we originally... Magic isn't all-powerful. We can only do so much. Uh, I see. Then what can you do? I can choose the card you picked, put out coins, and release doves. Yeah, if I get serious, I can even saw someone in off. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Obtained Friendship Fragment. Amico's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Uh, let's have a look. Who are you, fighter? Hiya! Oh, <laughs> she's doing that. Hiya! Uh huh? I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy! Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. I must be prepared to, for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me! I'll protect myself with Neo Akido! Akido? Akido, then you're... Oh yes, I'm Tenko! Oh. Akido, okay. There she is. Oh, I always imagined Aikido Masters to be huge, burly guys. But you're so cute. C cute! Ah, stop it! I I'm not cute! My face crinkles when I suck down a shake. And when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Um, I see, but I think you're cute, right, Suichi? Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around men? Yeah. It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. You're right, that is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey. Now, by the way, what is this Neo Aikido you mentioned? Right. Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self-taught. Obtain fresh from Fragment. Tango's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Another one down, all right. Uh, anything else in here? I don't think so. Monitor, we don't need to look at those monitors, do we? Would you like to leave? Yes, sir. Warehouse next, right? Oh, you looked creepy there for a second. Okay, who is in here? One. Oh, look at this wacky person. Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Hello, my friend. Damn it. Damn it. Where the hell is it? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, hey what are you looking for? Don't sneak up on me, bitch! At least we just met you, and you've already called me a bitch. Hey, hey I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaidi like that. Hey, hey Crutch, right? You staring at my tits? Huh? What? <laughs> Help yourself. 
A guy like you can only dream of landing a big boob totty like me. Go and get yourself a good eyeful. Uh, no, I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look there. Oh. My eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grope her. <laughs> I can definitely identify pervs on sight. And you are definitely a fucking perv. That's why you wear that hat, right? So I just see your skeevy eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? Side your nasty crotch. <laughs> Everyone wears pants, though. <laughs> Everyone knows the only pervs wear hats. Stop it. Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. Eh? What, what the hell are you guys getting pissed at me for? To tell the world you're sorry. If you startle me into losing motivation, that loss will be felt across the whole world. Hey, your vocal language is all called for. Just who are you anyway? No, seriously. You don't know who I am. I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. <laughs> I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mew Ruma. Mew. Alright. Uh, I've never heard of you. So what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you tap while you sleep, read while you sleep, even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? I was inspired after I realised how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> Although this one time I invented those really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? So my friends wear them? <laughs> Your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. Doesn't make you more productive while you sleep. So it was a failure. Just like you two. I signed the pat patent. Patent? Patent. Right over to you. Some company that never looked back. I never looked back. Seems like a waste. It's way better than your do stuff while sleeping inventions. Um, By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sound pretty desperate to find it. Eh, are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling sick? No, idiot. I need strong meds because I wanna trip my fucking balls off. <laughs> Ugh. I just wanna set my mind free and forget all about this shitty situation. Oh, Wait, what? You wanna use drugs to get high? You definitely shouldn't do that. Here. <laughs> but what the hell? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey-goosey. So, are we cool? You done being mad at me? They said there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. Obtain friendship fragment. Mew's report. Mew. Mew's. Mew's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. What's up with Suichi? It's been quiet ever since Mew mentioned his ad. Does he not like it uh, to talk about it? Is he balding? Yeah. High jump bar. Okay, uh, we'll look at that later. Um. Okay. Well, there's a person there. Have we spoken to this person? I feel like we must have. Oh, we couldn't go through here before. Looks like the iron gate opened. Okay, did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Shuichi. This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. uh, yeah, I suppose. Which means... That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. Wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Worrying about that isn't necessary. I have already examined the door. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh... You wonder who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Kurekyo Shinguchi. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. Oh. Escape person? Is that what that means? No. What does that mean? Karyoko. 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 
anthropologist. And uh, please call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? Okay, sure. Oh, anthropology studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. For example, certain aspects of birthdays or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous anal analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. Well, of course it's fun. It's a study focused on humanity. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Oh, um... I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? <laughs> People are wonderful! This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one too. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too will uh, may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? Obtain Friendship Fragment. Karekio's uh, report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Uh, okay. Well, let's go here. Then, let's go. Okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take the first step forward. To be honest, I was scared, because what if beyond this is just... Oh, jeez, this isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm going to run away. i got to move, fo uh, move forward. Coyote. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Shuichi. I psyched myself up and with the newfound strength, walked boldly towards the door. Boom. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and... Oh, a big dome! Whoa. Both words are accurate. What stood before us was both a cage and a wall. Either way, the enormous, uh, the enormous walls struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Weird. Oh, hello. Hey. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Meow, yeah, but it's so awesomely huge. I can see why it's called the end wall. Huh? End wall? Right. Normally, walls are erected by to separate two places. To separate two places, right? That wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? What? Hmm, what were we talking about? Yeah. Eh, was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> Stop laughing and explain yourself. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is. So please don't bother. You can't get out of here. That wall has no entrances. Or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually, an ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. What? But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the walls as loud as I could. Someone! Help us! <sighs> Please, help us! Oof, duh. Someone! Anyone! Please, help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. <sighs> 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 Please stop, you're hurting your throat! That's right. 
Yeah, scream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. No one can hear us. What do you mean no one can hear us? Wait. Say something. Hey. One of you, just answer. Damn it. Damn it. Hmm. One of them is ignoring them excellently. Because he refuses to open his heart. You can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass. Shut up. Where are the mana cubs? We need to be tough and whatnot. What is this? You think this school, what is all this? You bastards will have to use your legs, hands and eyes to find that out for yourselves. Actually. But please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. Oh yeah. It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. Oh, it's going to be like the rooms and the islands. It looks like they're still building some uh, of the facilities here. It'll be nice when it's all done up. Are they still in the middle of building the school? I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Whoa, that was thunder. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we set the Excisals on autopilot. Excisals? Once part of a biker gang, the Excisals now work construction to support their wives and kids. Alright, hello. Uh, we're just at the end of this episode, but um, there was suddenly a lot of thunder and lightning, so I had to make sure the dogs were okay. Um, Alright. <clears throat> so. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll finish this, and then we'll end the episode. I'll look after the dogs. Your robots really need that kind of backstory. The steering wheels are leopard print, and the dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. Stupid. Seriously, knock it off, you guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. So long, <laughs> Boom. And there they go again. But more importantly, it's what they said really true. We can't escape. We can't go over that wall. And no one's coming to rescue us. But if I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks as my face grew warm. I could feel my determination returning. Hey, hey Shuichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside his head, just firm enough to get his attention. Ow. Ow. Shuichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we, can, we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere. So there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually. Somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. All right. That's another episode of Borderline Games. Thank you so much for watching um, Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And we will see you next time for some more. I'm going to go see my dogs are okay after that bunch of thunder that just happened. Um, goodbye and farewell. I guess next time we're going to see, say hello to everybody else. I'm going to see if I can remember the voices I used. I probably won't. Um, but yeah, see you later. Have a good evening. Boy boy. Bye.